Hey guys, what's up? Tech Help PC here. Uh, this video tutorial is about creating user bars for forums and signatures. Um, for those of you that don't know what a si uh, user bar is, um, it's basically just a little signature that you can keep on forums uh, representing uh, what you use or what kind of user you are. This one just says XP user, I made it in Photoshop. And as you can see on the forums, I have it in my signature. It's just so people can see it and you know it's just a cool way to add it to your signature. So we're just gonna learn how to make that in Photoshop CS4. Open that up and go to File, New, and name it. Um, for the width you wanna keep 390 pixels and height 19 pixels. Resolution 72 pixels and color mode RGB color. 8-bit. Background contents transparent and click OK. Now you want to zoom in by pressing Control and the plus key and you want to fill this up with a gradient. I already have a preset made uh, of a green and blue. You guys can use any colors you want. You can even use a paint bucket if you want but that doesn't like add the color. But you can use it. I just like to use a gradient. So Green and I use green and blue just because it's the XP colors and we're going to be making the exact same thing. Alright, so I like that one and we're going to be using that. So now you want to create a pattern. As you can see here, we have little lines going across our user bar. So we're going to create that. Open up a new uh, document and uh, you don't have to name anything. The width you want to keep it 5 and the height 5 keep everything else the same. Click OK and you should get this little tiny dot. You want to zoom in as much as you can and this here is a 5x5 five five pixel square block. You want to fill this up with, well you don't want to fill anything up, um, you want to keep a pattern, a diagonal pattern. Um, so you want to go to your pencil tool and make sure your color is set to black and you want to make a diagonal line across. Once you have that, you want to go to edit, define pattern, and you want to save the pattern. I'm not going to save it because I have already uh, a preset made. So go back into your user bar and go to your background layer and go to blending options. Go to pattern overlay and uh, take out the pattern you just created. Now you can mess around with this, um, bring down the scale, I'm just going to keep it at 100 because that's what it looks best. I'm going to bring down the opacity a bit, um, right about there, and click OK. Now you have your pattern. Now we're going to um, create this little um, circular thing at the top. It just adds to the design. So get your ellipse tool and you want to just make the design. So let me just create it. Alright. Now I'm just going to keep it to white. Alright. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry guys. Uh, I'm going to do that one more time. Alright, and keep it black, white. Alright, so we have to go in uh, blending options. Sorry, I forgot I had the shape in color overlay. Alright, and okay. Now you want to bring down the opacity for that. So you can barely see the. You don't want it like too white or it won't look too good. You just want it so it like fades and blends in. All right, so that looks nice. Now you want to keep uh, create a lens flare here to make it look bright. So go to um, cr uh, click on your uh, background layer and go to filter. Um, what is it? Len uh, render lens flare. And now you can keep the lens flare wherever you want. 
So I'm just going to keep it right about here. Click OK. Now you have a lens flare reflecting on your user bar. So we have right there. Now you guys can create a border if you want. I'm not just I'm not going to create a border just because it takes too long. But you guys can create that. So now we're just going to uh, insert the XP logo icon. So we're going to go to file, open. And you guys will be able to download this um, on Google. You'll find it somewhere. So I already have that. So just going to click that. Um, get the marquee tool. And just gonna make it uh, what I need. Now I'm just gonna use the background eraser, magic eraser, magic eraser tool, and erase the background. I only need the logo, so sorry if this takes a little bit too long. You need time to do all this, so I'm just rushing through everything because uh, YouTube has a 10-minute uh, limit. alright and so that looks pretty good alright so once you have that you wanna go to um, you wanna drag this into your user bar layer now you may notice that it's a uh, way too big so you wanna scale it down by pressing control T and you should get this box this is how you're gonna scale it so hold down shift and bring it down now this will uh, scale it down to the right proportion also. Now it may look a little fuzzy and blurry, but that's because we're zoomed in a lot on a small object. So I think I'll zoom in a little, I mean, I'll scale it down a little bit more. Alright, and press enter. Now it should apply it, and just keep it wherever you want on the user bar. I'm just going to keep it right there, next to the lens flare. Now we're going to create... Uh, um, some text. I'm gonna get the text tool, keep it as white, click OK, and put XP user. Make it small. Alright, and I'm um, gonna put this right over here. Now, I think there's uh, some specific font that you need, but I don't know. You guys can check that out if you're more interested. And so, yeah. Now you can just add a stroke to it. A black stroke. I think that looks... Nope, we need to make it thin. Alright, there you go. Anything else we need? And that is how we do it. That's pretty much it, guys. It's really simple. Um and doesn't take too much time at all now you can just save it as a jpeg and upload it to the forums if you guys want you can show it off at uh, tech help pc forums we would love to see him so anyways that's it for this video guys thanks for watching